I started getting uh, trail camera pictures of a lot of deer in a particular area just in the back of my subdivision on some land that I had permission to hunt on. It's about a month before season. Uh, we've got some pretty big bucks showing up on camera in the back of my subdivision here right where I live. So we're going to go hang a set back here and check the cameras today. I don't really feel this way when I'm up in the tree trying to hang a set, but you know, it's like part of the fun and enjoyment of hunting is the journey of getting there and being able to be out here with friends and do the work to be prepared for the season, hanging sets and scouting and stuff. It's, it's like Christmas morning every time you pull a card from your camera and so Johnny and I have hung two filming sets this weekend, and uh, so we have a couple of different options, even if we don't get out before opening day. One of my neighbors came in here with a plow off of his uh, four-wheeler and plant or plowed up some, some dirt and just planted one circle strip uh, around here where our tree stand is. And uh, we put down our Hunt Co. Havoc um, fall seed mix and it's popping up pretty good. I didn't know if it would grow under this canopy or not, but it looks like it's getting enough sunlight. So hopefully we'll get some rain and it'll keep growing. You might have a problem when your wife comes into the woods with you and says your tree stands low enough to feel comfortable for her. Um, we just cut some trees, actually some larger trees than I expected and clear a couple more lanes. And I think this is gonna be a really nice spot um, for any time during the year. We're right up on kind of the side hill of a ridge. It's a bunch of hardwood trees back here dropping acorns already. They're dropping acorns where the food 
has been all summer where I've been putting out feed and, and minerals, so hopefully this will be the right spot for us. people moving in over there. We are going out to a blind, Joe and I are, this evening. So it's been a pretty foggy day and um, it's a lot cooler than yesterday. So we're kind of hoping that'll make some things happen for us. The other night we were out and had a couple four-wheelers bust some deer and just kind of a little bit of bad luck but you can't really call it bad luck because we saw deer so we weren't hating that um, we're just kind of thinking that we'll see something tonight we're hopeful and just looking forward to spending some time with my husband in the woods back in town from filming giant bucks in North Dakota or South Dakota? South Dakota. South Dakota. <laughs> um, so we're going to take him back here and see if we can't shoot a little doe or something. Uh, I kind of really want to be in the timber, like sitting in a tree stand because it's like 35 degrees this morning. But I checked some cameras yesterday and the best activity is right there in that blind that we set. And we set it for the purpose of hunting it in the morning because that's when that buck was out there. So I think we're gonna go sit in the blind.
first book came out, and all of these scrapes where I came in yesterday, and, but the, uh, the extreme bad bugs, Toestris, freshened up all the scrapes. So I think we've got a nice little spot here. If you're ever curious about the right broadhead, it's a three blade meat sinker from Rocket. And this is the nastiest blood trail I've ever seen. Shot this doe at 30 yards, put a good shot on her, but check this out. <clears throat> I've always really disliked blinds, but this spot has proven to be a really cool spot for us. Uh, we're probably gonna come right back out here tomorrow morning and see if we can get back on that buck. It's January 1st and 27 degrees. We're down to the last couple weeks here. And still chasing this uh, this buck we got on trail camera. So we're gonna hunt hard the rest of this weekend here before we go to ATA.
I don't know why I didn't try to stop the buck. I mean, at that kind of distance, if I would have stopped him, he would have been on high alert, and I think he would have jumped my string pretty bad anyway, so I shot him while he was walking right behind a doe. He was moving pretty good. I found my arrow over here too. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below, tell us what you think.